Multiple times I felt that I chose the wrong path in life. You see, I'm quite analytical. I use numbers to see the world, whether it's for my next big spending or for measuring my choices in life. I'm analytical in the sense that I measure my options. I quantify and analyze as much as I can. Should I take this holiday? Pros and cons of the destinations. Can I actually afford it? You get it. But I am also human, curious, and love seeing results when I get shit done. While embarking in my own self-improvement journey, I encountered more and more that I felt like I've chosen the wrong path. That I studied something that it was expected from me, from society, to be, and I quote, successful. But there is something I learned from the book called The Pathless Path from Paul Miller. And that is that it's never too late. Never too late to change and never too late to start over. It's never too late to follow your dreams. A few weeks ago, I decided to break the bank and spend some of the little money I have on myself. It's crazy how spending 1,000 euros on a new camera or a material item is easier than spending it on my own improvement, like on a course or even on a holiday. It's as if treating ourselves means treating our ego, buying materialistic things to try and reach that bike in our endorphins that is released once we hit pay on the purchase. That leaves you thinking, right? What is more important, seeking for that high in fake emotions, knowing it's a one-off thing, or nurturing the relationship you have with your brain, and therefore yourself? The answer should be obvious, right? For many years I've felt like buying a new camera, buying a new lens, spending money would be the answer to my problems, the answer to why my channel is not growing why I feel like I'm stuck in the same place and not entirely proud of the career I am in. Little did I know that I was the reason why. My channel was not growing, why I felt like I was stuck in the same place and not entirely proud of the career I was in. But like Paul Miller said, it's never too late. While sitting in a coaching course, I had the expectation to learn how to coach others, how to ask the right questions. But I was surprised to discover that I learned more about how to help myself than how to help others. I encountered a thought I didn't really have until that moment. Imagine life is like going for a run in the woods. You put your headphones on, music loud, and run without getting interrupted. It's you, your music, and your thoughts. All of a sudden you encounter that the path splits in two. Which one should you take, right or left? You decide to go right just because it looks better. Soon you encounter that the way gets more difficult, harder to cross. You start getting lost and feel confused. Did you take the right path? Did you go on the right way? You start wondering, right? Until, all of a sudden, you come to this beautiful lake. You probably wouldn't have otherwise, you think. You take a moment to contemplate the view and go right down the track. Sometimes we feel like we took the wrong decisions at first, that life gets difficult the more we talk or run through it, until all of a sudden we have an aha moment that makes everything fall into place. And once that aha moment, you realize that you're right where you started, right where you should be. And even though the way was a little bit chaotic and you got lost and confused, you still managed to find your way back home. You got through the situation and perhaps experienced things you wouldn't have otherwise. That's what life is teaching me. I am right where I should be. And while a decision back when I was 16 years old set the future moving forward, there are some things I cannot change that took me to this right moment. Sitting here, talking to the camera, right where I am now. Why am I here? I don't know. Is it where I should be? I'm not sure. The only thing I can control is where I will go next my future and just try to enjoy the present what's around around me well it may seem like i have everything under control honestly i don't my thoughts are everywhere but today i gained control of the situation of where i am where i will go next today i start getting my shit together